Inequality exists all around the world, whether it is gender, racial, financial, or social inequality. North Korea is a highly oppressive dictatorship that has history of brainwashing its citizens into hating other countries by practicing a propagandistic education. The citizens have very little freedom of speech, and even those who want to speak up are threatened with death and imprisonment for themselves and their family. In fact, North Korean citizens aren't even allowed to leave the country unless they have permission from the government. Those who do escape report tales of horrific inequality, namely between the rich and the poor, as well as towards women and foreigners. But why does inequality happen in North Korea, and what is being done about it? Today we are going to explore the inequality in North Korea through an interactive video in Minecraft. Let's start with the history of North Korea. North Korea was founded in 1948, three years after World War II, when Korea was split into two, with the South being a democratic country and the North being communist. The Soviet Union was a communist party and North Korea adopted its practices. To this day, North Korea remains communist and teaches its people to hate capitalism and countries other than its allies. The common people work in blue-collar jobs such as farming and working in factories and so do not earn a lot of income. Even prestigious jobs such as working for the military don't earn a lot of money, and so there is a huge inequality between the poor and the rich. The rich are members of the Communist Party and relatives of friends of the Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. For those who don't have the privilege to work in these positions, life is hard and over 40% of the entire country live below the poverty line. The average worker earns $3 a month. While the average worker earns as little as $1,000 a year, Kim Jong-un has over $5 billion in his stockpile that is mostly spent on nuclear technology and spreading propaganda about the Western world, as well as paying for Kim Jong-un's life of luxury. Gender inequality in North Korea is a huge issue. Although North Korean authorities claim that men and women are equal, that is not the case. In households, husbands are allowed to beat their wives. Wives have to cook and clean, and wives should not know about their husband's life outside of the house. In jobs, women are paid less. In the household, many women are abused by their parents and husbands. When famine and poverty reached an all-time high in the 1990s, women took on a responsibility to care for their family, going out to sell products and earn money, while the men fought in the army. Women felt angered that their husbands didn't work as hard as they did, calling them guard dogs, tough figureheads who didn't contribute to society, objectified at home, and subjected to abuse by their husbands, their hard-earned money being spent on alcohol by their husbands, and if they object, they are punished. This is really unfair for the average person in North Korea that while they are dying of starvation, the rich are spending all of the country's money on their own wants. Inequality is a problem all around the world, and in North Korea it is a serious issue that needs to be solved. 